Okay, here we are. Go. All right. Get this thing centered, I guess. Hello, everybody out there. Just give us a few minutes till people come along. How's everyone doing in the comment section? <clears throat> Hi, out there, everybody. Can everybody hear us or hear me okay? Everything good as far as, uh, yeah. Um, everybody can hear me all right and everything. Is the audio good? Video good? Well, video is good. I can see that. But is the audio good? Good. All right. A uh, bunch of people here. So, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to get started. Um, this will be kind of fun. This is a fun video, not really a real serious video. Um, so uh, we're going to start out here in, in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3. We'll start there. Giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed. Okay. Um, I'm not supposed to offend in terms of in truth. Uh, the ministry shouldn't be blamed for things. In other words, a uh, man of God is supposed to be blameless. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. Okay, that's a pretty a lot of qualifications there it's a lot that you have to really think about when you are in ministry and i do take that stuff very seriously i try my best i fall short and everything else yeah certainly i'm a sinner whatever but i have to follow this list here but verse eight here by honor and dishonor by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true People will come out and they'll say, oh, he's deceiving people. He's a deceiver. And yet, actually, I'm telling the truth. All right. So today I'm going to go over the, the biggest moron I've ever seen. I've been attacked by a lot of different people, atheists, professing Christians, Catholics, you know, whatever. Um, but this guy, he's got at least the moron of the year, possibly of the, the decade. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a this is a good one here. You're I think you're going to enjoy this one. Different people let me know. Oh, have you seen this guy? I checked it out. It's funny. Um, here's my website, KingJamesRadioMinistries.com. Well, let's go here. Let's get started. The Flint Truth Channel is what this is called. 153 subscribers. This guy's a he could be a comedian. Okay. Look at this. Born again barbarian exposed as a Satanist again. I'm a Satanist. Okay, now before we even, let me just say this, before we even get into this whole thing, you have to remember when there are false, or when there, there are accusations made. Okay, I'm a Satanist. I'm a, a, all kinds of stuff that you're going to see if this nut comes up with. Um, <clears throat> if I was those things, I would be pointing the body of Christ towards the devil. I'd be pointing people towards Satan, if I'm a Satanist. I don't know how I would qualify for that. Okay, but this false accuser here is coming out with some idiotic stuff. But check this out. Okay. So again, Billy Corgan, Freemason, Satanist of Smashing Pumpkins. Okay. Did you hear? Did the audio come through on that? I think. Uh, hopefully, you can hear this. If if the audio is no good or or anything, let me know in the comments over there. I'll keep playing it here. Make sure I have the audio up so you can hear it. Brian Dundlinger, uh, a Satanist on the internet, on YouTube, who has been allowed to get famous. They shut down Steven Anderson. They shut down so many other people. But little old Brian gets to stay. In I don't think I'm famous, okay? I struggle to get 50,000 subscribers after being on here since 2008. 
Okay, I don't think that, that you know makes me uh, famous. Uh, what about Smashing Pumpkins? He was saying that Smashing Pumpkins does these satanic hand signals. Okay, so look right here. Uh, I'm doing one. Oh boy, we'll see about this in just a minute. Makes you wonder why, even though his wife is a admitted Jesuit. Her parents are Jesuits. Okay. Um, yes, her parents are tied into the Jesuit order, but uh, she's not an admitted Jesuit. Where did you get that from? Okay. It's insanity. But let me just show you this thing before we go on here. I, this is good stuff. I mean, this is classic comedy. Um, here's the study. Okay. Listen to what I say in the study. I'm exposing occult hand signs. Listen. You know, it, this is also another way to do it. And I'm doing that just for illustration purposes. Somebody's probably going to you know, take a snippet of that or something. But whatever, that's your problem. Exactly okay. what he did. Yeah, exactly what the guy did. Seven years ago, I did this. Oh, he's got it. He's proved it. Look at that. He's got the satanic salute. Unreal. I said, somebody's going to take a snippet of it, a little snapshot of that. He won't play the video. Okay. That's because he can't, because it would disprove his whole stupid little attack on me. But let's let's continue. Let's see what he says about my wife. It's absurd. Freemasons, high ranking ones at that. Um, no. Talking about her parents. Uh, she says she doesn't know if her dad was a Freemason. She said, I'm not sure or not. Um, she was babysat by a woman that was part of the Order of the Eastern Star. But this is all stuff that was happening to her as a child, okay, before she got saved. And, and there's people within professing Christianity that will bring up things that happened in your lost life and say that you're still part of things and whatever else. It's crazy. They don't understand the new birth, becoming a new creature in Christ Jesus. Let's, but continue. Let's, it gets better. And that's where she comes from. She was raised by Masons and Jesuits, and that, that's who her family is. Brian, and that she had, that she holds, she held the highest security clearance you can hold as a American citizen. <laughs> what? She never said that. She had a top uh, secret security clearance thing, but it was not, not the top, like the NATO level or whatever else. She never said that. Again, you, this dork, whoever you are, you're a liar. She never said that. Prove it. Prove it. Show the proof. Take a little screenshot there, which I said lost people would do. False people would do some little nuts or whatever else would do. You prove me exactly correct, but prove it. Show where she said she's top level secret security clearance. She obviously worked for the CIA. She worked for the CIA. My wife never worked for the CIA. The only time she ever mentioned the CIA was in her past when she was in the military. She met somebody that was working for the CIA. That's all. She was never trained by the CIA, never worked for the CIA. Again, false accusation. This guy's a, a liar. We'll continue. She was a member of the FBI. No, she was never a member of the FBI. She was trained by the FBI in fingerprint, um, anal fingerprint, uh, fingerprinting, and what was the uh, crime scene um, investigation or something like that. When she was in spook school in the military, she went through an FBI training thing. She has a little plaque saying you've successfully completed, or a little degree thing or something you've successfully completed, fingerprinting and Crime scene analysis, I think, is what it was. Forensics and things like that. That's all. She never worked for the FBI. You lied again. Typical for this, you know, weirdo, stalker, weirdo. She has all her cert certifications. You Prove it. Show it. Show the proof. Do you think they gave all those, clear, these, those certifications and those clearances to somebody that they thought was going to back out and not go with the program? Of course not. She's a... <laughs> what? Okay. So the military has apparently has prophetic abilities that they only give out certificates to people that they know will stick around. <laughs> you know, there's no nice way to handle somebody like this. They're just, they're fools. Let's, you know, continue here. It's, it's good. Double agent, just like Brian. They oh, I just like Brian. She's a double agent. And I'm a double agent. Okay, where's the proof of me being involved in any kind of military or political type of stuff? Show the proof, please. It sought each other out, and they, they are, are doing, doing the, the devil's, devil's work. work. Now, sadly, um, we're doing the devil's work. This uh, this here is the devil's work, apparently.
defending the King James Bible, exposing the Trinity, watch our salvation message. I'm doing the devil's work. Yeah, wow. That's uh, pretty amazing. Continue. I fell for their lies of them for a long time because I have been watching them since 2011 and I was a huge supporter of Brian. Donated over $600 to his ministry with never so. Um, if you've been watching me since 2011, up until recently here, uh, $600 is not that much over that course of you know time <laughs> compared to some people that have actually supported me really well. Yeah. People people get bitter about this stuff. You know, I gave him money and now I, I hate his guts because he said something that offended me or whatever. And you'll hear what offended this little dweeb here coming up. So much as a thank you. In fact, he blocked. Okay, without so much as a thank you, I already explained that in my videos. I was sending thank you notes to every single person that, that came along with donate to the ministry. And they finally, people said, hey, brother, could you just don't do that? You know, it's between us and the Lord if we're giving to your ministry. Oh, okay. And I made, I said it publicly in the videos. I'm not going to be sending thank you notes to every single person that donates. I missed that. He's been watching me since 2011, but he missed that one somehow. Yeah. Me. So. Uh, he, he blocked, blocked me because I, I put, put Bible, Bible verses up about the firmament, Bible verses about the world being immovable, that the, the, the Lord placed it on its foundations and it can never be moved. And I would I would post, you know, Bible verses and I got blocked uh, for posting Bible verses. So this man is no. OK, God, no. I, okay. Um, I already said Milton flat earthers. You don't have any place on my channel. But see, again, the flat earth people out there. You see, see what it leads to? Cuckooville. No godly person. He's a devil. He lives off everybody else's um, income. And just recently he did a video where he's arguing with his neighbor. What kind of Christian is that? I'm going to be exposing that. Uh, we're supposed to love thy neighbor as thyself. And this guy's just a devil. And he puts on a, a, font, a front and a, and, and a fake face for everyone to see. And he even admits in the video that his wife is worse than him. And... Yeah, so they're putting out a in in the video. Well, you know, in the in the video, he even admits that his wife is worse than him. What video? Why don't you play it? Play the proof. Show the proof. Well, that's right. We're just supposed to listen to your little drivel here. Well, that's enough for that one. He goes off about some other things. Um, there's that video where I exposed myself as a high level witch or something. And I'm looking at this one video here. I'll show this one here in a minute, but um. It says here, Brendo777, in his trip, in his video, a trip to Bible Point, Maine, at the start, there is a witch's altar besom above his mailbox. Oh, really? That's very interesting. I will go check it out. I really appreciate your comment. If you happen to come across anything else, let me know, please. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for doing these videos. I'm not 100%. It is what I think it is, but just thought I'd point it out. Well, if you're not 100%, why would you falsely accuse? I don't, I don't know for sure, but I think it's definitely a witch's besom. <laughs> okay. The guy charges $9.99 USD for his book, which is suspicious too. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I don't make that kind of money on the book. Uh, that's what the publisher suggested retail price is. You know, if I mean, what am I supposed to do? You know, and, these, and this wing nut here, he'll add up all kinds of numbers and whatever else I saw one he did. I don't know if I'm going to bother playing it, but one he did about our dog Gretchen. And he said, Gretchen, if you look up the number of, you know, the numbers in the her, the name, the, it adds up to 44. <laughs> like, and this is, he's just rubbing it in your faces. You know, he knows he's a witch and all this other stuff. It's good, man. Anyhow. So, but this, I had to look this thing up. What is a witch's altar besom? Okay, right there, a witch's altar besom, like a little broom or something like this. And I'm thinking, what? And oh, right there. And it's, and it's, and they said it's above his, where's the, the comment? Um, uh, witch's altar besom above his mailbox. I read that and I thought, mailbox? We don't have mailboxes in town here. We have a post office right over there, okay, right down the street. Um, you can look up where our office is at. It's right over there. We don't have mailboxes. So I'm thinking, okay, yeah, this is a mailbox. No, it's a little wooden sled that was here, okay, a little wooden sled thing. And this here is Yarrow. Uh, a dry doll. Yeah. Hanging yeah. down. Uh-huh. You know why it's there? Because this is a sun porch. 
single pane windows, it gets really hot in there and you can use it sort of as a dehydrator, right? We hang up our herbs there that we use. We crush up the yarrow and then you can use the yarrow powder if you get a wound or something like that. We use it in powder. We use it in a bunch of other things. It's a dried herb. It's not a witch's besom, okay? But I guess, you know, maybe he'll count the, the number of letters that I just said in that sent sentence and he'll add it up and it's an occult signature or something. I mean, you know, try to get out of your grandmother's basement once in a while, okay? You know, go out for a walk in the woods. I know it's probably a scary place or something. I mean, yeah. So, uh, oh, let me wait. Let me go back here. This is the video. I was going to show this. Um, Brian Denlinger loves satanic crystals and gems. Look, he's got that little crystal thing there and three exclamation marks. <gasps> and there's a there's a globe or a, uh, what do you call it? Um, crystal ball, crystal ball, scrying device. And oh, I said scrying device, that proves I'm in the occult. No, it proves I studied the occult in my books written by Christians exposing occultism. But uh, And then there's another little devil or something. I guess that must be me or whatever. So, yeah. Um, here we go again. This is your brain on flat earthism. Here we go. Hey everyone, Flint True Channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Again, in another video here, as I've done before, I'm gonna out Bryant Dunlinger. I'm gonna try to expose him again, like I did in his last video where his wife is wearing the witch's trichatra in a, in a dress that she designed the um, embroidery around her neck was a witch's trichatra. The We'll get back to that here in a minute, but let's continue. 666 sign, and again, Brian Lear knows what the, Brian Lear know, and his wife are aware of what that symbol is because they've exposed it in several videos themselves. So there's no excuse for her designing it and her wearing it. Again, it's just reaffirming and reassuring you to everyone that she is a witch, she is a Jesuit, that she is a Freemason, she's a high-level CIA uh, agent spook like she told you that she was back in 2012 but you guys believe that she retired and you guys believe that she's a true christian now and that that's all in her past when you need to understand that she is still working as a agent her and brandon thinlinger are online agents trying to <laughs> yes um first and foremost uh she did not make that yeah we'll get back to that we'll get back to that whole thing here. So Agent Oliver, oh, oh, I mean, oh, I let it slip. He's with the CIA too. I mean, I don't know where the paychecks are coming at. You know, the CIA and, and Jesuits and Freemasonry and witches, they, they don't pay very good or something. I don't know where all this money's at that we should be getting from this. Um, you know, I mean, and you know, libel and slander, hello? You know, I mean, he's not going to take this guy to court. It'd be, you know, pointless. It's ridiculous. I don't believe in that. And he's not a brother, obviously, but, you know, you're just come on here, man. This is comedy. I mean, this, I mean, come up with something better. You know, you could get better stuff than this. This is pretty bad. But let's continue. To get Christian's information. That's why his websites. Um, they have all access to all your information. That's why it's so important to him. He tries to claim so. If, you know, for inf infiltrators, like anybody's gonna infiltrate a Christian YouTube channel. Like, give me a break. Like be real but again in this video this is brian standing in his front uh so-called ministry office which you know aka is more than likely one of his houses that he whatever um and <laughs> that he whatever <laughs> i own one place this place here we put aside our own personal living to have a place that we can dedicate fully to the lord i mean does this look like my personal you know this is actually the master bedroom that i'm in right now Okay, just one of his houses. Oh, yeah. Well, the other ones are, you know, they're not actually my houses because they're owned. We have the one owned by the Jesuits, one owned by the CIA, one owned by witchcraft, one owned by Freemasonry, and uh, FBI. Oh, oh, FBI. I forgot about the FBI yeah. house. How did I forget about that? Yeah. Hopefully, they won't cut our pay now because I forgot about that house. <laughs> so let's continue. We have to get through this funny stuff. <laughs> but, anyways. You'll see a amulet, a talisman, magical talisman, whatever you want to call it. It's a witchcraft gem right there, uh, wrapped in copper, uh, as you can't really see. Very. It's not wrapped it's, in copper. It's it's wrapped in copper, as you can't really see. 
So you stay right there. I'm going to have Oliver now just so I can't, I don't get accused of some kind of sleight of hand trick because I am a high level witch. So I can do that stuff, you know. So let's get this thing and let's go like this here. So you can see over there at that window over there where this, this goes out to the sun porch. And I'm going to go untie my magic talisman. Okay, here we go. Make sure that you keep me in the frame. If I can't get accused here, you know, because I'm a high level witch. Okay, there we go. All right, it is untied. Now let me keep it on camera here so there's nothing to see here. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this done. I have to put it back on top of my uh, my computer there. Okay, here it is, a high-level occult talisman. No, actually, it's a hand-blown glass ball. Okay, and the copper is baler twine. Yeah. All right. Wow. Um, right there. This guy, he knows it's copper. He knows it's a witch's talisman. One of my viewers sent me this, and I thought it looked pretty with the light shining through it. I thought, hey, I like that. Reminds me of heaven, you know, with the different emerald rainbow around the throne of, of the Lord and the different stones, precious stones that will make up New Jerusalem. And I like to look over occasionally. And I see the sunlight coming through it on the south facing windows. I thought, hey, that looks really neat. Uh, thank you, you know, for sending it. You can see the little thing there, the little nub thing at the top where it's parted off right there. It's all that it is. Hey, look, pretty little uh, thing. Some funny that blows glass made. Okay. It is not a talisman. All right. I mean, come up with something a little bit better here. How does okay. that even look like copper? Yeah. It would be shiny. Well, it looks like copper when you smoke funny weed like this guy probably does. <laughs> or maybe he's on pharmaceuticals oh. or something. I, I have no idea. But let's continue. Very, very uh, the greatest, but you can still see what it is. It's a amulet, a little witch's amulet hanging there, believed to have magical powers, supposedly to ward off evil spirits. Um, really, it's you know just another symbol that witches wear. Uh, and put up to let other witches know that hey this is a fellow witch's house you know it also has spiritual you know things where they believe that yeah you know it wards off spirits and it you know it has to do with spiritual powers and this that um again let's make sure everybody sees it again it's right here mm -hmm. in case you guys were wondering where it's at we'll draw a couple just to just to make it very clear. Yeah, you know, hold on a second. Ooh, that feels better there. Yeah, okay, you can really see it now. <laughs> oh, and this window right here, this is also proof of the occult. No, actually, it's proof that there's a, another window that's put there on the south-facing side of the house, so the sun comes through it. It's stained glass. It looks really neat. One of the neat features of an older home that we bought here in town. <sighs> Let's continue. This is good stuff. So there you guys know. There, excuse me there you guys go that's brian denlinger standing right in his so-called ministry office with his witches talesman uh right in the front window letting everybody know that you know that they're witches and i'm going to show you guys as we'll scroll here that's a little bit better picture um hopefully it's a little bit better picture for you guys um but as you can see it's clearly a witch's uh talesman Talesman, um, a little closer picture, as you can see, and again, mm -hmm. it's wrapped in copper. I've I've seen different um, videos. For I think he actually feels threatened because it's a sphere; it's not flat. You know that that's probably what he really is threatened by. Yeah. Um, you know, here, let's continue. Of Brian, and you can see from different angles with Brian having that, and it looks like it's wrapped in copper. Why copper? Because copper enhances energy flow. They believe copper is a spiritual conductor. Again, it's all got to do with witchcraft, the occult. Again, that's what Brian Denlinger is into. And if you go to Google and type in "witch green crystal wrapped in copper you know, amulet tal a talisman," whatever you want to call it, you, you see the same exact same thing right there. Oh. Uh, okay. What? 
Oh, copper is involved with witchcraft. You have water pipes that are made out of copper. Shh. Don't tell about our copper water pipes down in the basement that we don't use, Oliver. That gives out further information that we're high-level witches. Yeah, because we have copper pipes in our house. Well, um, <laughs> wrapped in, you know. And we have copper wire in the walls. Every place has that. No, no, it's it's all that. Well, that's the conspiracy. That's how deep the conspiracy goes. We control every house in America that has copper in it. Yeah. Continuing. <laughs> oh, wire. So again, right there. In Brian Denlinger's so-called ministry office, right in the front, hanging there to war off all his evil spirits. You know, he's he's not a Christian. They're not men of God. Um. Okay. If I have a talisman to ward off evil spirits, isn't that kind of counterintuitive because I'm a witch? Wouldn't I want evil spirits to come? Yeah. <laughs> Shame on Brian for hiding behind this so-called YouTube ministry, which he's not a real preacher. Mm -hmm. If Brian was a real preacher, mm -hmm. uh, I would not be making videos exposing him. Oh, it's very, okay. very sad. Think very highly of yourself there, don't you, kid? Hiding okay. behind his ministry. Yeah, let's continue here. We gotta, we have to get through this. That people fall for him, and people, because people are so hungry for the truth. And Brian's so articulate, and he's, you know, so charismatic, and he's such a good talker that, he, you know, he tricks people. He plays on your emotion. He plays on your feelings. He's a hypocrite. He makes videos about other people using music in their videos, saying how it. Um, it entices feelings and it's witchcraft and this, that, and the other, and then he uses it. I mean, I can just name over a hundred things where he just is a hypocrite, where wow. he says one thing and then gets caught doing another or saying another thing. It's Brian is a big, big hypocrite, a devil, a wolf in sheep's clothing. He wants to live off your donations. Stop donating to this man. I mean, he mm -hmm. must make hundreds of thousands a year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, that's right. We have all these houses provided to us by the intelligence communities. Um, yeah, okay. But you see, it all goes back to this one same thing that all my enemies do. Stop donating. Stop sending him money because they know where this ministry is going. They see now it's a professional website. Oh, we have to stop this guy. We have to stop this guy. Oh, no, what are we going to do? See, they all want to stop me. They all want to shut me up before I get too much bigger because I'm reaching a lot of people. And it just, all oh, these Satanists, they hate that. They can't stand it. And, you know, look around you. Look around. Is this, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars coming to this ministry? Okay. Where's it all going? I guess I have to pay dues to the high command or something like this. I mean, come on here, people. Yeah, for free good. off people not knowing any better and that's truly sad that people are giving their hard-earned money to this man who sits around and does nothing and to be honest with you he's probably um giving all your not probably he is giving all your information to the government turning it all over guaranteed because his wife guaranteed okay and your proof is where where prove it here we go. Let's continue. It was a high-level military officer, and that was what her... High-level officer? What? No. She was not a high-level officer. Where's your proof? Show your proof. Anytime that you see me attack like this, brethren, any of you out there, younger people that are just starting to watch, ask for proof. Show me job was was to collect intel so that's exactly what they're doing uh no my wife's job in the military was not to collect intel no it wasn't she was there as a um tech specialist or whatever else she would keep computer systems moving smoothly she would um there was the one thing where she was able to create software or not software but a program to help mm -hmm. to categorize things for the military better and somebody else took credit for it um collect intel on people huh this guy's just coming up with stuff just as he goes so filled with hate that he's just going to lie uh the holy spirit's not in somebody like that that's just lying like this 
let's continue. And they're pretending, and again, this is not a ministry, this is not a church where where if you donate to Brian, he's going to tell you exactly what he took in, what what his goals are, what he's going to do with the money. He's not going to be accountable to anybody for anything. He wants you to just, you know, just donate, donate, donate. You don't know how much money he gets. You don't know where it goes. There's no accountability. There's nothing. You're, there's no ministry growth that you can see. No ministry growth that you can see. Just a professional website now. Um, and you'll be seeing more things in the future. You know, I have a book that I wrote, but that's, you know, $9.99. So that proves I'm a witch. You know, okay. And there's more books that are going to be coming out in the future, Lord willing. Um, yeah. Thank you, son. And he, you know just is a devil a silver tongued devil and hopefully by silver. making these videos people can actually see him for what he is just a beggar a beggar that refuses to work and sadly he's teaching his tongue excuse me his son that all all you got to do is be good with your tongue all you got to do is lie to people play on their emotions play on their feelings and you can steal their money it doesn't cost brian anything but a couple dollars maybe to make uh these youtube videos you know if that it yeah that this guy i mean he is so brilliant i mean look at this here's my camera my main video camera panasonic uh what is it uh, i don't even know what the thing is panasonic hc vx 981 4k camera right there panasonic it only cost me a dollar according to this guy a dollar for that there's a zoom h2 recorder that i've used for many years that was a dollar you know, a uh, GoPro camera, which I've used in a few of my videos, that was a dollar. Everything is only a dollar. My professional computer here, video computer that I'm sitting at, it didn't cost me $3,000 plus dollars many years ago. That was only a dollar. <laughs> you know? Yes, sir. Here's a 12 gigabyte, or excuse me, a terabyte, 12 terabyte uh, external hard drive that I used to back up my files. A dollar. One dollar. I go to the one dollar electronic store. It's amazing. You should go yeah. there. You know, I get my, you know, well, that was sent to me, so I can't say that. You know, my talisman wrapped in copper, pure copper that looks like bailing, you know, string. But uh, it's all dollar. It's all a dollar. I'm just ripping you people off, you know. It's, you know, most of his videos anymore aren't even anything like his, of substance, like his old videos where he actually puts good you know detailed workout where it actually might have taken him some time all this stuff now is 15 minutes walking through the woods him looking at berries and trees and asking you what you know if you know what this is and what that is he's giving you no truth no you know no fruit nothing <laughs> and just begging no for money as he's walking around hey this is bro yeah he doesn't know what it is yeah well that's another issue but you know my little walk and talk things i'm just get, trying to get people to think about certain scriptures and give my thoughts on things i'm doing two or three a day sometimes but i'm supposed to have deep theological studies three a day three a day you know so continue broke i don't trust this my truck broke i didn't take care of it i didn't keep the upkeep on it like he said in another video that ed Fenger fediger who was another wolf mm -hmm. exposed where he said where brian said he's just going to drive all his vehicles down to the ground he's just gonna you know not maintain them and just run them into the ground and that's exactly what brian is doing he's running all this stuff in the ground why because he knows his so-called congregation his sheep will uh donate more and more money to him so he can you know just go do whatever with the money and have no <laughs> okay i'm driving all my vehicles into the ground uh, okay, I just got my Jeep completely done. You know, we had all kinds of issues trying to figure out what was wrong with it. Um, mechanic thought he had it fixed, and then it wasn't fixed, and I, the fuel pump was what was bad, and it needed a sensor replaced. Um, paid for that um, and had it inspected. I don't think that's running it into, into the ground. Right now, my ambulance is still at the garage, needs a new belt. Three of the brakes need to be replaced because they're all locked up and everything are ruined that you know i need to drive it more often um it's got an oil leak i can't afford to do that right now i'm just driving my stuff into the ground yeah, okay i mean ed fenninger he'd never lie about me never 
I mean, he's just as good as this guy. Well, I think this guy, you, whoever, what your name is here, moron, um, you know, you're, I think you're a little bit above Ed Penning or, you know, idiocy. Well, let's continue. No accountability and just keep, and it would be different if Brian was a true preacher or a true pra pastor. Nobody oh, would have an issue with Brian, um, preaching and, 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 and not working. That would be perfectly fine because Paul is the biblical standard and, but even Paul worked. Paul had a ministry, but even Paul was a tent maker. Brian does nothing, okay? He's from the art world, as he tells everybody out of his own mouth. You know, he's a, he was a, from the big, a big time, from the big time art world. You know, his dad was a made person. His dad's dad was a made person. Uh, 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 his dad was a made person. My dad worked as an engineer at Ford New Holland, worked his way up from the shop to become an engineer. And he got laid off later in life, and he went but working at a, a hardware store, lawn and garden guy. He was a made man. My grandfather was a, a watchmaker when he got out of school, um, and then he went into his own jewelry business, and he was an artist, painting artist, made man. See, liar. Well, you're such a liar, but let's continue. And the whole Denlinger family in Pennsylvania is made people. I've exposed where um, he, so, he okay. his family crest video where, again, more – of the Jewish Jesuit connection with <laughs> Jewish Jesuit connection. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have proved my sister went with ancestry.com or whatever else, took a genealogy test, a, you know, DNA test, all the other stuff and whatever else. There's no Jewish blood in me. 14 generations back through, not one Jew in my genealogy. We are Northern European. But I get we're Jewish, you know, I guess. Yeah, sure. No, whatever. With Brian Denlinger, like I said, I believe this man is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and I believe it's important to expose this man. Oh, yeah. I believe it's important for people to up. not only watch this video, but share this information. Mm -hmm. Get it out there. Um, out because there. Brian isn't going to sure. stop if you guys keep supporting him. As long as he has this support, he's going to keep on going. He's going to keep putting his hate out there. And hate? For you people that can't look in his eyes and see that his eyes are black as, as as night, you can tell he's just sold his soul, him and his wife. And uh, you guys uh, want to make comments on my videos when I say, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul. And you can totally see that Brian's possessed in his eyes. Brian made a video about devil possession himself. Go look it up if you haven't seen it. He shows about devil possession with the eyes. Uh -huh, okay, Brian Dunlinger himself says the eyes are the soul, and he uh, reads several verses in passages. So go watch that video where Brian show uh, is showing devil possession in the eyes, and you'll see that same look of devil possession in Brian and Catherine uh, Kusera Dunlinger, whatever. If they're really married, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. My eyes are black as coal excuse me here hold on hold on don't move just am i getting it hopefully i'm getting that my eyes are dark brown i can't see the screen over here so i'm trying to you know my eyes are my eyes are dark brown okay um they're not black right it looks that way maybe some of the videos and whatever else his eyes are kind of a brown lighter brown collar and whatever else um so yeah I'll tell you what, we're we're uh, of the devil. But see, here's here's how tricky I am as a high level Masonic CIA FBI G, uh, Jesuit, which uh, I don't know what else. Um, I'm so clever that I speak the truth from the scripture and rebuke people in the occult while I myself am in the occult. I mean, yeah, I expose things that are what I'm actually part of or something. I mean, it's insanity, these people. So enough rambling on that one. We'll go to the other one here. I don't want to waste people's time too much on this. Here's this one that my wife, she's a witch. See, she's got trichatras right there. And then the moron shows a trichatra, actual trichatra. And he says, well, I'll play a little bit here because he just openly lies about her. Here we go. Hey, everyone, Flint True Channel. Hope everyone's staying in their King James Bible, staying in the Word, creating that connection with the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Uh, well, if you're in, in your King James Bible, you won't be fooled by you, little moron. Let's continue. Um, as everyone knows that's watched my channel, it's important for me to expose wolves in sheep's clothing, charlatans, you know, these puppets. These Satanists, these devils that pretend to be good people, that pretend that they're uh, pastors and that they're just saved people, and they're really just devils that want your money. And right here today, I'm going to not waste no time. I'm going to expose Brian Delier and his... I'm, going, I'm not going to waste no time. Well, that means you will waste time. <laughs> it's two negatives. Not waste no time. That means you are wasting time. Proper English apparently escapes you. Here we go. His wife, and this is the smoking gun. This is, you don't need no other evidence. I mean, I've gave a lot of evidence. You don't need no other neg evidence. Double negative again. You don't need no other evidence. You just said. But this right here should be enough for anybody with a sane mind and discernment. So this right here. As you can see, her witch's trichatra, her Celtic knot right there in the circle at the top of her dress, you know, the dress that she claims that when she walks into places, men just get holy and they stop swearing and just, you know, they're just so humbled. Okay, that story had nothing to do with this dress. That was before that. Okay, when a woman wears a modest dress out in public, yes, men will act more appropriate. Okay, but let's play a little bit more here. You get to hear the lie by her her you know her holiness i guess because you know she's just such a great honorable wonderful christian godly woman really she's a witch look at her eyes black as night just like brian's eye, window the eyes are the windows to the soul her which is trichatra now she made this dress she makes her own dresses oh really she made this dress she makes her own dresses uh proof proof where's your proof uh no she didn't make it it was made for an artist from poland made by an artist from Poland. But you wouldn't know that because you're a lying little devil that likes to make up stuff. My wife has never made one dress yet. Okay, she's working up to that. I'll show you the proof here in just a minute. She didn't make the dress. Okay, let's listen just another minute here. See if he says this thing. She's got her little Viking um, pendant right there, as you guys can see up top, the gold pendant, or um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but then you know it's all part of the occult. You're exposing yourself. You're a little liar. I know it's part of the occult, but I don't know what it's called. Okay. Um, the style of dress that she's wearing that has that the ancient Nordic women would have worn, northern Europeans, it comes up and it has straps that come over, it, and then you put these little turtle type brooch things they're called or something, you put them through and it holds it together. I'll tell you why she's wearing that in a minute. Uh, again, the Celtic knot. With okay, Celtic knot. This type of interwoven, intertwining things. It's not a trachetra. Why does the trachetra? Okay. Yes, this is not the same thing. And when we got the dress, I'll just tell you. I saw it. She said, "Are these trachetras?" And I said, "No." I said, "They're not trachetras." You can clearly see that there's. It just goes like this. It weaves around, goes like that. Uh, a trichatra is three. This is not three points. It's interweaving, going around. The artist that made this did that embroidery work. Okay, not a big deal unless you're a wingnut trying to find stuff. All right, so let me explain something about my wife. My wife loves to research. That's what she does. That's her, you know, she says truth is her lifeblood. That's one of her statements that she likes to make. We first got married, she was wearing jean skirts and turtlenecks and, you know, a nice top or whatever else. That's what she was wearing. The problem with that was when she became with child with a certain somebody beside me here, obviously the woman's stomach goes out, you know, when you, the child is being formed in there. Well, jean skirts, skirts aren't working so good. So she started to look for other dresses and things. And, you know, she's helped me with the ministry, did not have time to make a dress doesn't have the knowledge yet what type of dress should i make and so we looked and we found this dress these dresses right here you can you can't really see the whole thing but it's uh it's buttons in the front is what it was it was called a um, prairie dress uh, recollections.com i think it was the, they make reproduction dresses and whatever else so she thought well i'll get a historical type of a dress a plaid pattern whatever else still wearing a turtleneck there and things 
and we went through lots of discussions about you know it's it was either buttons or snap closure i think it might have been false buttons on the front and snaps on the inside and you know when she had oliver then she had this dress and it was nice because you know she nursed and so she could you know open up there and everything else so she studied see and then when we got the witchcraft and mandela thing she's wearing this another victorian style dress right there that you can see that she's wearing again studying the style the cotton this one here is a cotton dress as well and by the way i'd like to just point out the fact that this is also part of our scam here my wife did a three-part study studied for months to do this whole thing here for women where she's exposing witchcraft and she's defining what witchcraft is all about use that as a picture it means uh but she goes into the thing of all of the stuff the practices of witchcraft but see she's a witch that exposing witchcraft making trouble for witches and whatever well if you're a nut yeah but um you know so again there's the dress cotton this one was cotton she started to study different types of fibers and she said this is not really the victorian look is not what i want so as times are going by again look at the time here nine years ago seven years ago again seven years ago she had this in the other dress very similar time frame four years ago and she wanted to have something that was more along the lines of what our ancestors would have worn because she's trying to see what types of materials and, and everything else she's learning you see that's what my wife does and so she went with a german type of a dress with the apron and things in the front there this embroidered thing there and stuff it's kind of a dirndl is what that would be called again wearing the turtleneck that's what she's doing right then we discovered we were looking into this thing and she was saying i don't like the different types of closures and the different types of things and i i said okay i wondered the one day i was looking up something on the computer and i i thought what type of women i did a, a search what type of uh, clothing did women wear in the first century and it was a one-piece dress i came up with and i thought and she was saying you know this cotton stuff is just not working it doesn't work so good in the winter time even cotton flannel she had a dress that was cotton flannel the one thing there where i was supposedly doing the satanic salute that was a cotton flannel dress again a victorian style and i thought i wonder if anybody makes a wool single piece dress wool like i don't know celtic dress or something i just looked it up and we came up with this artist on etsy from poland okay this was the first dress that she got this purple one and this inner locking you know again design there i guess that's probably a cultic too according to nutty boy there that knows so much about everything and so you know i got her this purple dress she loves that style of dress that's what she's been wearing ever since it's a single piece dress without any fasteners and then this one here is another one from another artist that she's trying it's a heavier weight wool and then this right here is a medieval cape it goes over the shoulders and it goes down a little bit below the waist why because she's trying to look like superman or something no it's because it's for added warmth right that's all that it is you know this is a black wool vest here cotton flannel shirt we experiment with natural fibers and things so that we can tell other people this is what works here this is the kind of stuff that's all we do you know so um just to explain that whole thing right that's what she was trying but when you're a you know a stupid idiot nut that thinks that they know everything oh she's wearing this occult dress or something like this and so uh these are not trichatrous all right um ron Lear's wife catherine is a witch 100 percent proof exposed um let me just say this okay we'll go back to this thing here so you can see the cotton flannel dress that she had on there again in 1800s style and she's going back further and when my wife eventually starts to make her own dresses, she's going to know this is the style that I like. This is the way things work. But for now, she's getting professional women that are really good at it. And they design the dress. She wears it. She tests it out. We go hiking. We go fishing. We go kayaking. We go canoeing. We go um, snowshoeing in the winter. Ride bicycle. We go do all this different stuff. She tries out it out, tests it out. And when we get a good design, she'll start making her own. Simple. 
She's learning about all that stuff. So, um, but let me just say this in closing here. I'm going to, this is, I think we've seen enough of a uh, funny boy here. Um, this type of thing is libel, it's slander, but I'm not going to take any legal action on it because this guy's too big of an idiot for me to sue. Okay, and he probably lives with his parents or something like that, or in his grandmother's basement with a single little light bulb, or I don't know where he's at, you know, probably plays video games. I, I don't really want to sue him for his video game system, you know, so I'm just, whatever. Um, but, you know, this stuff doesn't hurt us at all. It's actually comedy to me. It's, it's a joke. But what I'm saying is when you start to accuse people like this and you're not providing any proof, you're in trouble. Okay, with the Lord, you're lying while claiming to be a Christian. You have no proof of this stuff. You need to stop that. And if you're young and you want to go out and you want to to uh, go after false prophets and whatever else, this is not how you do it. Okay, you have to make sure that you have your the old saying goes your T's crossed and your I's dotted. I know that this idiot probably thinks that that's some kind of an occult thing. No, it's called you know actual drawing and you know writing with your hands. You know, with a pencil. Um, make sure that you're thorough in your research. If you're going to say that I'm, my wife is uh, worked for the CIA, you need to have proof of that. She works for the FBI. Prove it. You can't be sloppy like this, right? So, um, child, I'd suggest suggest you just shut up and and uh, you know you need to get saved. Uh, drop all your your conspiracy stuff is getting a little bit too deep. Um, I'll just show you another one here. Um, I was going on here to get my stuff, and apparently, I guess yeah, 100% witch exposed. Um, no doubt left. Oh no, where's that one at that he just? Oh, well, maybe he took that one down already. Okay, there was one about the. Is it in the shorts thing? Oh, he's getting ahead of me here. Yeah, there was one about um something about that I was that Gretchen, our dog, uh Gretchen, the name Gretchen is an occult, you know, type of a thing, and I do everything by numbers and whatever else. So yeah, apparently he's deleting videos now. So okay. Uh yeah. So that's gonna be it. Um I saw a couple of people put it in the you know the comment section. Um, yeah, I don't even see the one about the uh, green uh, talisman thing anymore. Um, talisman, huh? Yeah, the green, our uh, infamous green talisman thing or something here. This uh, this deal here. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the Lord rebuke you, whoever you are, whatever your name is. Um, but I'm going to be getting back to doing some studies here. Um, Right now, brethren, I'm, you know, just let me get back to something less vexing. Uh, right now, what I'm doing in the ministry, I just literally was talking to my webmaster um, two days ago, I think it was. And we're talking about making topics. I have seven topics here. The resurrection, you know, let me just uh, stop sharing the screen here. Um, okay, there we go. Okay. Hold it up closer to the camera. Okay. The resurrection, Roman Catholicism, dispensationalism, the true gospel, FAQs, expository studies, and nutritional health. Um, these are going to be topics on the website, like the main page that comes up now that I stopped sharing. Um, you know, I have watch our salvation message, Bible version issue videos, and the Trinity exposed. These topics are going to be sorted out and things with, you know, different topical things like that. And then they're, I'm creating playlists right now on my channel to put into categories all of this stuff. I have a brother that does the King James Video Ministries channel on YouTube. I'm going to be come somewhat, you know, using some of his, the way that he set his up in the playlists. Really appreciate his work over the years helping the ministry out. And so I'm going to really try to get this thing tuned in. And then the hats and the shirts, I'm still looking into that, checking into that, uh, how to do go about doing that. It, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, I think, to find American-made hats and shirts, but I'm going to try my best to find that. 
Um, <clears throat> and it's not going to be, you know, my picture on it, you know, or something like that. No, it's going to be a Bible verse or something from the Bible to make people think. And then kjvm.org. Okay. Uh, that's what's going to be. And it'll be another way, offline way to point people to the website. Right. And people can come here and they can watch the videos for free. Uh, there's no thing of, you know, there's a special thing you have to pay a price to get into this or something else. All my stuff's available for free. No copyrights on anything. It's always been that way. So um, those are the plans, the current plans for the ministry. Um, again, we're working on a logo for the for the ministry. Um, and you know, after that, well, we'll see what happens next after, you know, we get some hats and whatever else and shirts and to point people to the ministry get the website a lot better i'm going to you know, he's going to train me how to do some of the stuff on the website i don't know how to do that quite yet more books i'd like to definitely write some more books um so we'll let people know i will definitely keep you posted i'm going to try to do a little you know the little walk and talk things you know because I, people really like that and i'm you know what happens is with the ministry, like I've said, um, I don't think I have any notes right here right now, but, uh, you know, here's a Ruckman thing. I'm going to be doing a talk about something in there. I think it's in this one. I think it's the little clip is in there, but uh, all my stuff I need to do is here. The letters I need to answer up on top of my computer. Let me show you. Okay. No, I got it right there See on top of my computer right there those are the letters i need to answer and look at this big pile of stuff right there okay those are all things that need to be done those are all you know i just get it gets piled up right there i have my blue blocks glasses a, a brother sent me thank you again for these i do use these you know all the time i don't really have them on right now because it gets the glare and things not real great when you're doing a video um so uh that's the way things are. I don't hide anything and whatever else. So, um, but I guess that's going to be it. I'm not going to get into answering questions or anything because we're about 57 minutes here into this. But uh, we will definitely be bringing out more videos. I have a bunch of big studies that I'm going to be working on. Um, and so that is going to be it. And, um, Stand by the word, brethren. And um, thank you to anybody else, by the way, anybody out there that's going over to this Wing Nuts channel and just rebuke the guy in the comments and say, you're a liar. You know, come on. This is ridiculous. Um, of course, they'll, they'll call, oh, you're from Brent Denlinger's call it your mind controlled by him. Whatever. Um, so just to show you the kind of stuff we've put up with over the years. We'll get more of it, I'm sure, as time goes by. But just be encouraged, brethren. Again, you're going to get that kind of attack on you. People will stab you in the back. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you and say that your life is going to be wonderful and great uh, when you get saved and everybody's going to love you. They're all going to just fall over to get to you. And, oh, we're just, we love you so much. That doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> you're going to get a kicked and attacked and people are going to lie about you and everything else. Um, that's just the way that it is. So that is going to be it. And we will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you to everybody out there for watching. Thank you for your support of this ministry as we move forward and reach more people for Jesus Christ. I'll see you in the next video.